so the next interview question that we would be talking about is the difference between the summarize and summarize column function in power bi now before i start the explanation i have a couple of requests to you guys okay the first request is that you need to be a little patient while understanding this because it takes time to understand things properly okay second thing is the simple questions or the regular questions most of the candidates are able to answer what really makes a difference is your response to these questions because there is your response to these questions tells you the depth of your understanding to the interviewer okay that's why you should definitely work on such questions and try and understand things in depth as much as possible now we'll get started okay uh, so first of all we will try to understand the difference between the syntax used for summarizing summarize column function now if you have a look at the data set it has just got the product column region column and the sales amount column now i have created these two calculated tables if you have a look at the first table this is the summarize table wherein i have used the summarize function and if you have a look at the syntax for summarize function sales which is the name of the table then we have got sales product which is name of the column based on which we are summarizing then total sale is the name of the new column that we want to create and sum is the expression given wherein we are telling power bi to add the values in the sales amount column so this is the syntax for summarize i will show you practically how it is done but that is late later on i will show you how it exactly it is practically done okay right now i am just trying to give you the conceptual understanding now if we try to compare this summarize function with the summarize column then you notice there is a small difference everything else is same if you see sales product column is there then total sales everything is same just a slight difference and the difference is that while using the summarize function the first argument is the table name okay summarize function we have to provide the table name as a as an argument first argument but when we talk about the summarize column function we do not have to provide the table name as the first argument so we have got one argument less when it comes to summarize column that is a basic difference but the most important difference between these two functions is summarize function supports both row context as well as filter context but summarize column function does not support row context it only supports the filter context okay now i will try to explain the same concept with the help of visuals now the first visual that we have is a table and the second visual is a slicer now let's see what really happens when i try to add the summarize measure and when i try to add the summarize column measure okay so i have created these two measures if you see this is the summarize column measure wherein i have used summarize column function and if you have a look at this summarize measure i have used the summarize function okay so let's see the difference so what i will do so if i try to add the summarize measure then what happens it is giving me the all the values okay and let's say if i try to do the filtering see based on the filtering summarize measure is getting adjusted okay see the moment i click the filter for both both are getting removed i filter for south it is reflecting for south if i filter for north it is reflecting for north okay so basically summarize measure so basically summarize measure is supporting the row context that's why it is able to we are able to filter like this okay now when i try to add the summarize column measure then let's see what happens see the moment i try to add the summarize measure uh i get the error because summarize column does not support the row context okay and if i remove this again it's fine now if i try to add the card visual let's see what happens now in the in this card i will try to add the summarize column measure and as we can see we are getting this for entire thing okay so how can you remember this summarize column is like a spoiled brat that does not support row context whereas summarize function is like a nice guy who supports both row as well as filter context 